Planetarium, distributed by Game Salute, created by Stephanie Bacon, art by Dan May and Greg May. In Planetarium, players collect resources from orbital collisions and leverage those resources to aid them terraforming planets. It's a game of cosmic importance as two to four players fight for the stability of a solar system. We picked this game up at Arkham Games and Comics in Bainbridge, Georgia. I was really excited about this game. Um, I'm a big fan of the art of Dan May. Um, a lot of the games we have are, um, he's done the art for, and they're just really vibrant and, and really in the aesthetic that I really appreciate. Um, Black Orchestra, he did the art for that one, as well as Skyway Robbery um, and Everdell. Um, he, worked, he worked on those projects um, and really, really appreciate the art on, on those. And um, so really excited about whenever he has a new game out or he's worked on a new game, his art is just fantastic. Um, right off the bat, the cover has a really high contrast with really cool planet um, contrasting with this halo of orange. It's very vibrant. The the collision on the planet it's, gives us action, some motion onto it, and kind of really just draw draws the eye in. And then the very simplistic planetarium text on the box um, just really really makes you want to buy the game. So after breaking the plastic wrap, one of the things I noticed right off the bat is there's a high gloss finish on this case, which is different from a lot of the games we see. Usually there's a matte or textured finish, but this one is extremely glossy. Um, it's just something to note. Cool. Um, right off the bat, we have a rule book, and it seems like there's a French variation of the rule book as well inside. Um, really small looking rule book, not very thick. Seems to be about 16 or so pages. Um, well illustrated. Um, Yeah, so we'll dig into that a little bit later. Um, some punch outs right off the bat. Um, and some are double sided, but it seems like the majority of them are single sided. Game board. Um, right off the bat. I see empty bags, which is really exciting, which, you know, there's some thought that the game designers and developers put into how you're gonna store this and how it's gonna to hold together once you punch out all of these things. Um, it's always really exciting to see. Um, looks like we have some matching color pieces, some hexagonal pieces as well as some cubes um, in, in varying different colors. couple plastic uh, cardboard stands for you usually use for um, player characters or things of, of that nature that are cardboards for standing them up um, single pack of cards and some more punch outs which look like they go with the stands great um so yeah so to wrap all this so once we got everything opened up and punched out there's not a lot of pieces to this game based off of the information I had read or um, gleaned off the back of the box it seemed like a very complex game. Like there were a lot of moving pieces that you were gonna to have to track. Um, but once we got everything punched out, it's it's fairly simple layout. Um, you got what looked to be resource tokens, some player mats, uh, three different decks of cards, final evolution, high evolution, low evolution. Um, and they've got um, some great planetary art um, on them. So yeah. Um, uh, we looked at a lot of this already. Um, one thing that was in the deck once we opened it up was an acknowledgement of the Kickstarter backers that backed them in the initial Kickstarter, um, which I think is really nice. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at the game board. So the game board is very simple. Um, it's very clean in its in its layout. Um, we've got four plant planets, uh, A, B, C, and D. Um, just sun at the center of the solar system. Um, one thing I liked about this was with some game boards, you have to fold back a little bit. They want to bow and not lay flat. This one laid straight out and didn't have any bowing issues. It was it seems to be really good quality, um, and that's already been taken care of. Um, yeah, this this seems like a really really fun game. Um, can't wait to get into it. Let's see how we get it back into the box. So everything goes back really great. Um, this game doesn't have any substantial plastic 
cutouts to kind of hold everything together, but there's a bag for everything. Um, we talked earlier about how we love how they have bags that come with it, even for pieces that are being punched out. This has a bag for everything that is in this box, pretty much. Um, every resource has its own bag. Um, every deck of cards, the three decks we looked at earlier, each one has an individual bag, so nothing's sliding around. You're not losing uh, individual cards underneath the, the cardboard cutout that's in this box. Everything goes in really nicely and is organized. You can turn this however and transport, and you're not going to lose anything to the bowels of the box. Um, so yeah, it goes together really great. Um, the packaging is wonderful on this game. I'm very excited about it. Planetarium, designed by Stephanie Vacon. If you want to see how to play or play through video of this game, let us know in the comments. And as always, if you like what we're doing, hit the like button and remember to subscribe. To get reminders of our newest videos, ring the bell.